I was at an antique store and I saw this box on the back of a shelf with something interesting in it. And I said, what is that? And he pulled it out and it was an Astro Compass Mark II. I had never seen one before. It even had a label with instructions in it. How cool is that? So we take a look at it and said, wow, this is really neat. It's kind of like a theodolite that we used to align compasses with on A3D Sky Warriors. But in fact, these were used on B-25s during World War II and some British aircraft. It has to mount on a sort of a cylinder, which it didn't come with. So I used these table legs, took the uh, feet off of them to make the base for this compass to hold it up on a display stand. So first I had to cut out the center section to try and make a hole that would fit in the Astro Compass. I had to use the drill press and a coping saw in order to cut the center section out. Then I sanded it out so it was round and would slide over the mounting part of the compass. Then I had to cut some edges off so it would fit. Then I started taking it apart to get it down to its constituent parts so that I could try and fix the paint damage as best I could. Here you can see the lettering wasn't too bad, but some of it was really bad and I had to do something with it. The plastic part and the lettering on it was very good and all I really had to do with that is clean it up. As it turns out, the north side is the worst in terms of paint damage and of course that's the part that would normally face you when you mount it in the front of an aircraft and that's the part I would like to get as good as possible in terms of fixing the paint job. So I had to struggle with that quite a bit. So I used a little wire wheel and a sanding disc on a Dremel to take all of the paint off of it. The lettering seemed to be pretty good underneath. So I was hoping I could spray it with black paint and then somehow fill in the lettering with white. So here I put a coat of primer on it and the primer turned out pretty rough. So I ended up using some steel wool to smooth that out and then put a second coat of primer on. And then after that, I sprayed it with some glossy black paint. And I used a couple of coats with some steel wool in between till it came out smooth. Then I used Crayola's white paint to try and fill in the letters. I had tried chalk, I had tried other, even white out, and everything just made it worse instead of better. So here it is all back together and almost ready for display. On the bottom, the wooden part is the one I had made out of the old table leg. And here it is next to my theodolite and my sextant. Well, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And here's a shameless plug for my book, which is available on Amazon and all of the ebook retailers and as a hard copy from lulu.com. Thank you.